and welcome to my new video. Are you wondering which is the best scheduling platform for Instagram? Today I'm going to share a comparison between Later, Planoly and Facebook Creator Studio. So in today's video I'm going to review the free versions of each of these apps. Let's get into it! So let's start by looking at each platform functionality, design, ease of use and free benefits that come with their uh, monthly plans. So I'll go one by one, present the pros and cons of each platform and in the end I'm going to tell you what is my suggestion. Let's look at later.com. Later is a social media scheduling platform that helps you schedule content for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. I love that it comes with a monthly and weekly um, content calendar and it also has a drag and drop feature so you can just drop your post anywhere you want. Now the things that I don't like about later is that instead of showing me here the preview how the post will look on my Instagram feed it shows me the image library so I can't really see how the posts are going to look unless I drag them and drop them here on the calendar first and then I have to click on preview so from here you're going to view how your scheduled content looks. The thing that you can't do on later, you can only upload single images and you can't upload any carousel posts, um, videos, IGTVs or stories. So if you're someone who creates a lot of carousels, that may be something to consider when it comes to later. Um, in terms of analytics, later I don't think it's the best platform to give you free insights and analytics. I think you're better off using your Instagram mobile app insights because you definitely have to pay to see your insights on later. Now, how much to pay? So, I'm using the free the free version, the free plan, which only allows one social media set, which comes together with one Instagram, one Twitter, one Facebook, and one Pinterest account. And I can only upload 30 images per profile in one month. So if let's say I upload 30 images and somehow I want to edit the image, or I decided to swap the images with something else i can't do that on the free plan if you want to add an additional account let's say you're a social media manager and you want to add monthly um, management services of another account you're going to need to go with the growth plan because in the growth plan you can see insights so all other plans the starter doesn't give you any additional insights per month it just gives you extra number of posts so for social media managers you're going to have to go with the $15 monthly plus you're going to have to include additional $15 per month per account that you're managing other than that later also offers a free tool that is their link in bio feature so you can add create a custom link in your bio and then link it with your individual post. You can't connect to Shopify unless you're upgrading your profile. So that's all for later. Now let's talk about Planoly. The Planoly dashboard also looks quite similar to later, but on the left side, instead of having random images, you are able to swap your images and this is how your images are going to be seen on the feed. So you can see here, I can see the images that are already posted and I can see how 
the new posts that I'm adding to my feed are going to look like. So I can just swap them around and play with how the posts will look on my feed. Something special about Planoly is that it allows you to save hashtag groups and you can just save your favorite hashtags here and save it in a new group. Besides that, you can also schedule Instagram stories. For the free plan, you have access to 30 Instagram stories and 30 um, feed posts. Now for the feed post, you can add carousels, which is an improvement from what we have seen to later. You can choose, select two images and then it's going to ask you, do you want to upload it as carousel or as two separate posts? So that's something to keep in mind. If you're someone who likes to post carousels, instead of image post, then Planoly will be better for you. Besides that, you can also use the free version of Planoly to discover content and you can search for content based on keywords. Let's see, we search for dogs. Yeah, so if you have a niche account, you can search for popular content and you can add these posts to your grid. So you can also find free stock images that you can add to your grid and you can also search for your own custom hashtags. Now in terms of analytics, I think Planoly and later they both have similar analytics means they're not telling you much on the free version basically for to see any insights you need to upgrade to a play, paid plan now how much does it cost you may wonder let's see the free plan comes with two social media profiles one instagram and one pinterest it comes with 30 uploads per month per profile you also get a link in bio, customizable link in bio, which is quite similar to um, later, but it comes with more features. Now for this extra $9 a month, you can get access to analytics and unlimited uploads. If you're a social media manager, you're going to want to customize your, pro your plan. So you just need to include how many users you want. It comes standard with two users and three minimum social media profiles. So if you want to add, manage more Instagram profiles, you can add, add them to your bill from here and you're basically paying $10 per profile per month. That's all about Planoly. Now let's talk about Facebook Creator Studio. This is Facebook native content planning and scheduling app that allows creators to manage multiple accounts and schedule content for both Facebook and Instagram. Not only you can create content for your Instagram feed, you can share images, carousels, videos, but you can also schedule IGTV. This option to schedule IGTV is unique to Facebook Creator Studio and you can only do it natively on the Instagram app or through this platform. Now, besides scheduling content, you also have access to valuable post insights. You can check your insights activities, you can manage multiple accounts and you can see each account's performance. So this platform is very useful, especially for social media managers and if you're going to manage more accounts than one. Now let's talk about some limitations of the Facebook Creator Studio. Obviously the app is great to use if 
you're only wanting to schedule content and looking at insights. However, it doesn't offer you a calendar view. It doesn't offer you a preview of how the posts are going to look on the mobile. It also doesn't um, send notifications when the posts go live. So you need to remember at the time and hour that you have set for your post to go live each day. And other than that, again, it's just a simple scheduling tool but it doesn't come with additional benefits like hashtag tracking, uh, hashtag groups, or, or adding a link, a custom link in your bio. My verdict is the following. So if you're someone who is trying to get started with learning how to schedule and plan content for Instagram, I think any of these options is a good place to start. Um, I would recommend Plannerly for ease of use and because you get a bit more options like saving your hashtag groups into uh, the app itself. Um, however, if you're a social media manager and you're going to work with brands, you're trying to get clients to um, grow your social media services business and with together with a team, you want to plan ads, you want to learn more about insights and analytics, then I think that Facebook Creator Studio is going to be the best option. So with that in mind, I hope that you like this review. I hope I have helped you in any ways and leave me a comment if you want to learn more about social media managing tools. Bye.